Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Mermail Master coming at you from the Team Time Riders YouTube channel with Sergio. And Sergio is bringing us something crazy today. What are you playing, my friend? Uh, 60 card lights one zombie, fairy tale, Minerva, Hamlin turbo. Crazy. Anything you want to say, or should we get into the profile? Uh, let's just get right into it. All right, let's do it. Um, also, I just want to sorry, I just want to say that um, this is an original creation of mine. Well, not necessarily original, but like. I literally made this on a whim, out of nowhere, like one night I was just bored and I just had a bunch of lights and stuff so I'm like, I'm gonna make a deck. Nice. Right, so, start off we got basic lights ones, uh, one Minerva, two Lila, triple Lumina, um, triple Raiden, triple Wolf, and triple JD. Okay. Um, JD is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, he lets you just, he lets you just go for game and clear out boards of things that you don't want. Um, he also forces out many back rows such as strikes, warnings, etc. Um, he just sure he can brick, but I still think he's a great card. Um, Raiden lets you mill, he goes into single plays, pretty self explanatory. Uh, Lumina lets you extend your combos, uh, lets you basically make rank threes and bring back light swans for more synchro plays and all that. Yep. Uh, Wolf, self explanatory, rank four spam, and as soon as he's milled, it's a free it's a free twenty one. Yep. Um, two Lila, um, Mostly just for spell and trap destruction, but uh, I don't like playing three. I like I think that two is perfectly fine. It helps with the numbers for JD. Yeah. And also, I just I rarely ever come to chance where I actually have to destroy a spell or trap with this thing. Gotcha. Um, she's just really good, mostly because seventeen hundred attack and mills three. If like she's the only dead card in my hand. Nice. Um, Minerva is self-explanatory. Let's me go one more. Um, there's level three, so it lets me go into level seven synchros yeah. and uh, rank threes. So, do you play? Uh, how come you don't play Phyllis? Phyllis? Yeah. Um, well, Phyllis, I don't play because we do play Grass, and since it's not a monster's effect, mm -hmm. she won't she won't trigger in special summoner. So. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, unlike Wolf, which is just as soon as you send him deck to graveyard, he just gets a free summon. Mm -hmm. um, next, we got Perform Ages. We got the Trick Clown. It's a, basically self-explanatory for rank four. And then hat triggers just because it's yeah. a free rank four without any cost. Um, fairy tales, um, book of moon, like on crack. Uh, it can replace itself multiple times. It's not a once per turn, not even a once per chain too. So that's why. And with the amount of stuff that you build with like with uh, with both Minerva, the lights ones, and the. Um, uh, what's it called? The zombie stuff? No, the grass. The grass is, yeah. Um, she just keeps on like bringing herself back for free, basically. And, gets rid of, and she gets rid of like your dead cards in hand, or like dead back, or like dead brilliant fusions and all that. I think she just went to two in the OCD. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's gonna change anything. Yeah, true. Um, next we got typical <laughs> zombie engine, double plague spreader, triple uni, and triple meziki. Uh, meziki self-explanatory lets you can, can, can uh, continuously abuse himself to get resources back. Unit zombie lets you go into higher synchros, and he also allows you to go into rank fours as well. Um, basically, just great level manipulation, and gets rid of dead cars in hand. And plague spreader, um, I just like him at two because there are times when like you have like say like a dead wolf in hand or like a yeah. Minerva in hand, you can just put him back on top and he just summons himself. Synchro and like mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you mill, like you get their effects, so it's yeah. so it's free. Um, next, we got our two level one tuners uh, Jet Synchron, Bulb. Bulb is for the mill, and Jet Synchron is to get rid of your free uh, dead cards in hand. Um, Solid way to use it. Next, we got three Destiny Hero Militias because I play some spicy stuff in the, in the extra deck. I do play rank sixes. Ooh. And he allows you to go into just some, some into yeah, Omegas yeah. and all that. Uh, Double Maxi, because Maxi is really good this format. Um, <laughs> uh, you got your Brilliant Engine, self-explanatory. Extra yeah, yeah. home summons are good. Um, I played a two. I played two Gem Knights just because, um, in case I know one or I draw into one, it's still not dead. Yeah. Uh, so why not, why not two Garnets? Why um, one Garnet and one Tourmaline? Well, it's just because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, okay. And also because like I just couldn't find another Garnet, and I'm just like, I need level fours. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, hey, why not? Okay, cool. Uh, three Grass, self-explanatory. Let's you mill your deck. Um, it's a broken card, I think. I think this card's broken, but it's balanced at the same time. Yeah, yeah. But it's still a good card. Uh, Forces you to run 60. Yeah. Plot of Desires. Um, Let's take a look at that uh, alternate language ones. We got two Spanish ones right there. Self-explanatory, lets you draw two. It's free, draw two. Um, it's Plot of Greed. And significantly better, lets you thin out your deck more. Nice. Um, three solar recharges. Because, um, you know, Lightsworns need more mill, and they decided to make this. Yeah. Uh, 
um, it's just draw two, mill two at the cost of one light sworn. If you get rid of your Minerva, that's three mils, so it's what's up. And the ulti rare first dead one allows you to draw an extra card. Yes. And then we got two Carica de la Lucha. Uh, basically lets you search out your combo pieces, you're missing ride and you're missing Lumina. Lets you mill more, hopefully hitting a wolf or anything that like you want in the grave. So it's good. Spiciest card in the whole deck by far. And then we got one for one for your two level one tuners. This card is never dead for me. Um, because either it gets milled along with the level one tuners or it's just free snow fodder. Or I get to actually use it. Uh, Foolish Burial, self-explanatory. Yeah. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone, I mean Galaxy Cyclone. Um, it's just like an MST from the grave and it lets you like MST from hand as well. Um, it's like whatever to be honest. It, I, ju I just like this in the grave mostly because it's like if they ever for some reason decide to anti spell you, it's just an out. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, we got Soul Charge because you know it's broken. <laughs> yeah, uh, three instant fusions. Um, because you don't want to just run one or two because it could get milled, mm -hmm. even in a 60 card deck. I've had times where like I milled two and then I draw and I get the last one, or like yeah. I mill all three and it sucks. Um, next we got two spicy cards. Spiritual Swords are revealing light. Um, it's great defense, doesn't let your opponent like from attacking you directly. And then Rise of Rise to Full Light, we already know the combo with Omega. It's stupid, it's broken, I love it. Damn. Right. Now to the extra deck. Uh, of course to clear the one Minerva, I'm still waiting on my taxes for the one. For the one Minerva, I'm still waiting on my taxes. Um, we got Dante. I rarely ever go into him. I've been thinking about cutting him, but it's like I can't necessarily, I I haven't summoned them enough to actually test to see how this works, but uh -huh. I think I am going to come. Um, I play the Gusto Emerald. Um, for my locals, like I obviously got the Minerva because I can't play that, and I just play two Emeralds and it works fine. Um, one Emerald, two Emeralds, whatever. Next, we got Pilgrim Reaper. Oh, the spice. This is, this is it right, right here. This card wins me so many games sometimes because it's a free mill five, and it let, and it basically mills your opponent's deck as well. So unless they're playing something that like relies on the graveyard or like that doesn't care about sending cards to the graveyard, you're pretty much trying to win because you get rid of more of their resources. Sometimes you might even hit more of their traps than anything. Mm -hmm. um, next, we got Beatrice to combo off with these two and like you know let you get more more resources into the grave. Um, the only reason why I put them here is because like there have been times where I could have summoned this and I and it would have been fine but I just don't like having Dante out on the board without a material. Uh, I'm not the type of dude that just plays this and Pilgrim Dante. I just don't like that because um, I don't play any BA so Pilgrim Dante is just dead. Uh, next off the fusion we got Norden of course and then Seraph Knight that's it for fusions. Uh, next we get to the Synchros where everything's real spicy, alright? We got Gaia of the Force. Oh, we got you're gonna have to explain Gaia. this to me. Alright, it's a level 6. It's self-explanatory, it's a level 6. Let's me go into Pilgrim Reaper, Beatrice, and lets me just go off of my combos a little, and it's a 26 beater. Charge Warrior, because you know drawing cards good. Unless you attack into every special summon, uh, special summon monster. So, quick question on Gaia. Can't you just run uh, Goyo Guardian instead? You see, I would run Goyo Guardian, but like the thing with Goyo Guardian is that it would feel like it's dead weight just summoning it and just having it for an X Seize material. While this, it doesn't feel like it's dead weight just having it for an X Seize material. Like, Goyo lets me take monsters from my opponent's grave, but it's like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I yeah. just want to get. All my like as just much ramp as up into like whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, and then I got Coral Dragon because you know yeah. it's a good card. And more draw power and it lets me pop a card if I have dead cards in hand. Uh, next, of course, we play the one Michael. Mill yeah. three, uh, mill three at the end phase and banish a card for basically free. Um, also, it's a level seven because why not? Uh, Black Rose Moonlight. Um, Self-explanatory. I love Black Rose, so I had to put this in. Yeah. I would have put in regular Black Rose, but I feel like this is better than bla regular Black Rose in this deck because mm. it gets rid of problem cards True. Um, and allows me to like bounce back my kaijus and just summon them again. Oh, that's yeah, that's. that's really and then we got two Omegas, and one of them is Portuguese, as you guys can see here. Sai Armasau Senhor Omega. Yep. So the reason why I play two Omegas, aside from the fact that I play zombies, is just that I can easily turbo out two Omegas in one turn, no mm -hmm. problem. So, and with the amount of kaijus running rampant around, so I can easily just like target one that they that they decide not to kaiju and then just get rid of it and then I'm safe for the turn. Nice, um, also nice. allows me to bring back all my banished resources, cards yeah, that I yeah. banished off Desires, Mizuki, and um, uh, Snow. 
And then lastly, Crystal Link, because Crystal Link is broken. Crystal Link is Crystal Link. And because uh, there's so many ways to get into Crystal Link in this deck, specifically with these guys and like the level 7s. Yeah. Um, so he's actually not even that hard to get into. He's just a really good uh, turn 1 card with the Omegas and the Minerva. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And uh, I guess side deck. Uh, side deck options. Um, I don't. I don't try to enforce it on anybody, but it's like this is what I. This is what I choose based on my locals. Uh, I got typhoons in case of like they. They play like some dumb shit like like um, yeah. vanities, anti spells. Which honestly enough, anti spell doesn't hurt this deck that much as long as you get the mills. So it's mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Um, we got the vanities fiends in case they try to max me. Um, because this deck doesn't really rely on its normal summon that much. So it's like if they if they activate max on brilliant fusion, I just summon vanities fiend and I, yeah. and I just let it, and I just let it sit there. Next, I got the Kaiju and the Lava Golem. I like Kumungus just because it's a, level 20, it's a level 7. They can't really like go into rank 8 with it. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just a good card in general. And Lava Golem just to give her like, some nasty boards. Um, it, at the cost of my normal summon, which again, I said I don't care about my normal summon, I can just give her two cards for free. Next, we got Denkos against against uh, Paleozoics and Backrows. Um, this card comes in clutch so many times, and it's a and it's a light for Brilliant Fusion. And the odd chance that for some reason in Light Swords you don't have any monsters in your deck to send, it's just a free um, a Brilliant Fusion. Uh, next, we got Board Wipes, Raigeki, Dark Hole. Self explanatory. Uh, we got Vanities because it's a good card. Um, this card literally like never dies off uh, unless it's on your turn, mm -hmm. but even then, it doesn't matter because usually you just have the Vanity set and then just go for a game afterwards. Nice. Um, um, you got your dimensional barriers. It's uh, self-explanatory. Stop zoo. Stop like anything. Um, and basically, stop any extra deck heavy deck that you know what they're playing. And then two ghost ogres just because the ghost ogres are a good card. Solid. Yeah, that's all. That's all, all right. for the deck. Well, uh, that, that looks awesome. Uh, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see this on a tournament. I'm guessing. Uh, any uh, any shout outs you want to give? Um, shout outs to my boy Danny and my boy Junior because they hit me up with these cards that I need and they're all like common. And shout outs to eBay. <laughs> Shout, Shout out to eBay because eBay. eBay gives me so much free shit. Like I get everything here. Like I got this like dirt cheap off eBay, dirt cheap off eBay. Everything in this deck was dirt cheap off of eBay. So I'm like, it's lit. It's a good deck. Hopefully the next time we see it, it's gonna be max rarity. Yeah, hopefully. Oh yeah, there we go, boy. Damn it. All right. Well, thank you so much for the deck profile, Sergio. If you guys like the video, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, this has been the Mermail Master and the Team Time Riders YouTube channel. And we're signing out. Catch you guys next time. Peace.